We are outside the Reform UK conference at the NEC. Nigel Farage has just finished speaking. Reform UK are known by some as a right-wing party, by others as a far-right party. It depends who you talk to. In the most recent general election, they won 14% of the vote, but they only ended up with five MPs, which is around 1% of the MPs. Their leader, Nigel Farage, is a controversial figure, I think it's fair to say, to some. He's a cult hero, a man of the people. To others, he's a racist, a thug, a person who was personally responsible for the riots which swept across England recently. Why do you support Nigel Farage? Uh, because he's genuine, honest, does what he says. Why, why do you think he's a controversial figure in British politics? Uh, the establishment doesn't like him, do they? He's a threat to the establishment. He's a threat to the establishment that just takes, takes, takes out of its community. Wokeism is rotten to the core. It's unnatural. It's yeah. diabolical. The system, the system's broken, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Broken yeah. By... What do you think about that? Who, who's racist? Who, who are they calling racist? I think they were calling Nigel Farage racist. Say it now! Say it here! What do you think of the protesters? I think they're, um, they, ain't got, they don't know what they're on about because uh, obviously not everyone here is racist or Nazi and they, that's all they can say in it, Nazis and racist when there's black ladies here, there's Asian, there's a black man there, it's just bullshit isn't it? My daughter's half Indian, do you know what I mean? It's one of them. Why, why do you think that they think that there's racists here? I don't know, bro, to be honest, they're just like far left extremists, don't they, man? Look at them, they're, they're all a mess, like, man, they all smell, bro. They all smell? Man, you can see they smell, bro. I, was I, can't, I can't see that they smell. They're dirty, bro, look at these people, bro. What do you think of Nigel Farage? Um, I just think he's a bit of a coward. Nigel Farage is a coward? Yeah, he don't, he's, uh, I don't know, he throws Tommy under the bus, innit? Tommy Robinson? Yeah. What do you think of Tommy Robinson then? What do you think of Tommy Robinson? I'm here asking you the questions, mate. He's, he's the, he's the, uh, I don't know, bro, I think he's got the balls, mate. He talks sense. And they say he's racist, but you couldn't show me one racist thing he said on the internet. What did you think of the, uh, the riots that happened across England recently? They were terrible, bro. They weren't Tommy Robinson supporters. They were like kids and I don't know who they were, bro. But they don't go to a Tommy Robinson event. What is it that Tommy Robinson says that uh, you agree with? Just everything, bro. He could say anything and I'd agree with him. <laughs> anything? Anything? because yeah, I, know, I know what he believes in and he don't change. There's a number of people of colour that are supporting Reform UK, right? At the end of the sort of day, when all is said and done, they're going to judge you by the colour of your sort of skin, right? They have a right to protest, obviously, um, and I'd never take that away from them, but I, I don't agree with it. I just think, you know, you're in Birmingham, it's Friday night, you know, surely you've got better things to do. I just wanted to experience a conference for the first time. I, I believe in the cause, but it's partly just to see what's really going on. You know, I, I, I want to hear from the party themselves, because, uh, you know, I might as... I figured I'll come here with an open mind. I might not like what I hear today and I might end, end my relationship with them. But uh, that's basically it. Did you like what you heard today? I did. I thought, um, I, th I think the overall message is very good. My issue is that I felt, thought a lot, a lot of it was quite repetitive and there was a lot of waffle in there, to be completely honest. Why do you think that they don't agree with some reform uh, policies or the reform as a party in general? Um, well, well, I mean, look, you, you can see over there, it, it's saying refugees welcome on all the signs. That's reform is, is a party that wishes to cut illegal immigration. 
and legal migration to some degree. So obviously there's a clear conflict of interest there. I'm pro-migration, clearly I'm an immigrant myself, um, but I think there's been too much of it. And so that's why I would support reform. How has it been today as a person who isn't a white person at the Reform UK conference? Pretty fine, to be honest. I, I, think, uh, I, I think people who talk about institutional racism and you know, underlying uh, hatred and so on. I, I believe they're exaggerated. I don't believe it's true. Uh, I felt perfectly comfortable there. So I've just gone up and down the line of people who are protesting. Uh, none of them are willing to talk to me um, right now. Uh, so we'll stick around and we'll see if anyone will talk to us a bit later. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Would you mind just saying for me what you think Nigel Farage? Just like one word, two words? No, 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 no not right. interested? Okay, thank you very much. For me, this is hate, isn't it? They hate the far right and, and you don't use those words, do you? If you've been filming long enough, you will see that the people coming out of the conference or going in are certainly not rioters, protesters or far right. We're just ordinary people of this country who would like to have our country back. When you say you'd like to have your country back, like in, in what way do you think it's been taken yeah, from you, laws, society, laws, yeah, exactly. pride in our country, yeah. out yeah. of all the inventions in the world, approximately 50% originate from, from the, yep, UK, the UK, Great Britain, whatever you want to call us. They just started chanting, refugees are welcome here. What, oh, what do you guys not. think about that? Sorry, they're not. They're not illegal. Not, not illegal refugees, yeah. or they call themselves refugees. They're illegal. They're Genuine refugees and asylum seekers yes, are welcome. They are. Genuine We've people of pot. any nationality, any religion are also welcome, yeah. but it's advisable and, and best for them to stick with us and follow our cultures and laws. Yeah, exactly. well, what did you guys think about the riots that happened uh, across well, England this wrong. summer? Out of, totally out of order. Yeah. Yeah. Because they took over from a genuine... Yeah, they uh, jumped on the bandwagon, Yeah, they just they? jumped on the bandwagon. They, they were idiots, idiots that jumped on the bandwagon, and it was totally inappropriate. We know what happens when they get home to say what they say, because let's be honest, they may not have taken part in the riots and the pogroms that attacked refugees, but they supported it. They didn't have a nod to the fact that they supported it. It was Farage who started up the conspiracy theory. He was... Now, I've just had a go at them. They just called us racist. I have two refugees in my home currently. I've had them now for two years and one month. I've also fought for the Afghanistan resettlement program because I believe the Afghanistans that have fought for the country um, with the British soldiers, they should be back in this country and we've helped them. Genuine people need our help. Not anybody that comes in. You know, my home is full of refugees. And I'm racist? Reform racist? Talk about it, think about it. So the protest is now uh, dispersed. We weren't able to talk to any of the protesters today other than to get their general message that they were trying to say that refugees were welcome and in general that Nigel Farage and that some of the Reform Party uh, members here today and supporters uh, were racist. I think this is the first day that I've seen any Let's Save Britain caps. Were they on sale today? Um, they were selling them, but they gave us this one for free as we, we, we helped Rupert Lowe campaign. Why do you think people came out here and protested today? Oh. They're clearly all... Go so you look at these people, they've come out with uniform placards, all looking professionally done. What it very obviously is, is organised opposition. Anybody with a bit of, bit of intuition can clearly see it's inorganic, controlled opposition. And the only reason they're here now is because they want to make it look like there is a grassroots, unorganised, purely organic opposition to what reform are saying when it is, in all honesty, the exact opposite. Are you suggesting that this whole protest was like orchestrated by one person or well not so much one person a group of people with common interests 
who have the spare funds because they are wealthy and it's in their interest to make sure that these views are heard and seen to be the prevailing thoughts of the country when in actual fact it definitely isn't. There isn't a groundswelling of support for what Labour stands for. There is for reform. I mean there were more votes for Labour than there were for reform. Well that's because they're an established party. As time goes on, as reform get their message out there more prominently, you will see not only Conservative voters swinging to reform, but also Labour, especially in the Labour heartlands where Keir Starmer has made it known that he will prefer, he prefers standing up for people who are only recently here instead of the native English. Okay. I, I mean, I can answer the same question if you'd like more content on that. So I take a slightly different position to him. Um, it's possible that some of those people might have been professional protesters. That is a service which does exist and some people do use it. Um, <clears throat> and I think the reason he suspects that is because the signs they use are commonly used by professional protesters. Um, but regardless of whether those guys were professionals or not, there, I think there actually does exist genuine opposition to reform. So I'll just ask one final question, which is if you guys could, in a few words, say what you thought about the riots which spread across England recently. Yeah, so my understanding is that they went to the Asylum Seeker Hotel and they, they were trying to set it on fire in hopes of potentially killing the Asylum Seekers. Uh, that's murder, and I think murder is bad, so you shouldn't do that. Um, you know, yeah, that's, that's the gist of what I think.